Hello everybody, welcome back to a tropical update with your accurate weather forecast for the day is June 30th, 2024. Today we'll be talking about Hurricane Barrel and Hurricane Barrel only. So as you can see in this latest reconnaissance aircraft that has went into the storm and kind of surfaced what the actual winds were. And they found 126 knots of wind. And as of the latest advisory, they had it at 130 mile per hour winds. Let's go ahead and take a screenshot here. So as you can see, the pressure honestly isn't very low for a Category 4. Usually when it's a Category 4, you see like 950 millibars. Even with Cat 3s, you see 950. But <clears throat> I will very well define in this storm system now. Aircraft reconnaissance is about to do another pass into the storm. Uh, the second aircraft reconnaissance I think is done. Yeah, they just actually landed. And they only found 996 millibars current satellite like it is a very impressive storm right now and as the latest update 120 that's not the latest update it's actually 130 but they have it hitting the yucatan as a hurricane now so if you live in the yucatan watch out for that and now interesting enough is that models have it stre strengthening <clears throat> weakening for a couple of days but then as you can see it drops off as it makes landfall but then after that we might see some reintensification as it enters the Gulf of Mexico. As you can see, 1,002 to 1,001 millibars. It should enter the Gulf. Uh, Texas, Houston, Texas. Uh, Texas, just Texas. Watch out for this one, because this one is most likely going to come your way at some point down the road. If this will load, we can go ahead and take a look at this. Oh, it's not going to load. Okay, then. So we can just go ahead and take a screenshot. So that is a while ago um, here. This is the latest image. As you can see, the eye wall is very well defined. We have cold cloud tops blowing up all around the storm system right now. And as of right now, beautiful outflow on that storm. See those clouds kind of fanning out. Honestly, nothing is really stopping this thing from strengthening, which is why if we go ahead and take a look at my forecast track, as you can see, we have, um, where is it? There it is. <clears throat> I would say it has 140 mile per hour winds. I would say the pressure is down to 958 millibars, moving west at 19 miles per hour. This is a code red. Probably going to get up to code black later today, but this is a code red right now. Because 120 mile per hour gusts are expected, 10 to 15 inches of rain are expected, and 6 to 12 feet of storms which are expected now. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and take a look at these the forecast track. As you can see, I have it going up to 145, then 150. But take a screenshot here. If we go ahead and take a look where it starts weakening, when it starts weakening, we're gonna get some uh, I think southerly shear that begins to push on this, all the storms to the north. So it should weaken it. I mean, it's not that strong a shear, but it's just enough. And we also get some Saharan dust starting to affect the storm. So. This is going to be a very bad storm. I forgot I can move that. It's going to be a very bad storm. As you can see, I posted at 2 a.m. An eye wall started to form. <clears throat> um, I think in the next advisory, it should go up to 140. Here's my forecast. As you can see, they have it at 130 right now. I have it at 140. Also, a shift in the forecast track. I think it's a little bit... Um, There's three. Uh, let me see. It's a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit farther to the south than the original one. Probably by a couple of miles. But it makes landfall as a category one, or category two or one. So that is going to be interesting to see. Uh, there we go, we can go ahead and, I mean, aircraft reconnaissance isn't that one. So let's just go ahead and take a look at invest. Uh, 94L, I think. <clears throat> They're in it right now, and they are finding some decent winds. It's not very organized. It's running out of time. It's also, the center is technically half over land, so that is messing with the storm system right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at the models, and if they load, come on, please load. I was going to take a second, but as you can see, in the next 24 hours, 
Now, right now, the GFS has it at 981 millibars, which obviously it's not. It's already at 960 millibars. No, I mean, 958 millibars, but we go ahead and take a look at this in the long run. You can see that second storm system develops behind it and actually becomes a hurricane in the Caribbean before getting ripped apart by one shear. But you see that storm eventually makes its way into Corpus Christi now, I think. Moves inland and eventually merges with that cold front that affects all the United States. And then after that, we really have nothing. Maybe a weak tropical depression off the Florida coast, off the Bahamas east coast. And we can go ahead and take, oh yeah, sea surface temperatures. And by the way, this is a record. We've never seen a category... Four hurricane in actually let's go ahead and take a look at the entire base. And we've never seen a category four hurricane in the month of June in the Atlantic. Like ever. Literally it's never happened before. Um that one system is about right here right now. See half over land, and it probably has like this much. It probably has like less than twenty four hours left to develop. <clears throat> now barrel Barrel is gonna have a long the barrel moved off the coast of Africa. And is going to continue its track th somewhere in this general area. Now, it depends on where it goes because the high pressure, like I said, is right here right now. But the high pressure is expected to move over here, which would then allow it to, which would then allow that storm to kind of move a little bit farther to the north and maybe get caught under it or can get caught around it, which is what we saw in the models. <clears throat> if, it get caught, if it gets caught under it, it will hit Florida. If it gets caught around it, it will most likely hit Texas, which is the most likely scenario. Um, yeah, that is basically it for this tropical update. Like I said, Barrel is now a Category 4 hurricane and isn't expected to stop strengthening for the next at least 48 hours. Um, I hope you all enjoy this tropical update, and I'll see you all later today. Bye.